Hi there, I'm Anna Vital. I am one of the co-founders of Adioma. This is a tool you can use to make infographics fast. Let me show you how. So we're already looking at the dashboard inside Adioma and at the top over here are all the samples you can use. These are just to get you started quicker. You could of course start with a blank template. Um, over here below are the infographics I've already made. And so the infographics you make will show up here. Today I have uh, an infographic in mind that's a biography, so I want to I want to choose this one. Here I could start editing this text right away, but because I have a lot of text and I've already done my research, and uh, this um, biography is kind of long. It's of Donald Trump, and he's seventy years old, so we have a lot. To write, I'm going to use this upload all text um, option over here in the left bottom corner. So I'm going to paste all the text. I just got it over here in the spreadsheets and import it. Okay, so almost instantly we have a timeline built just for this text. It has the text set into the, te uh, into the timeline and uh, matched with icons inside Adioma. So Adioma read my text and looked at what icons it has and did its best to understand what I meant. So for the first point, for example, Donald is born in Queens, New York City. It thought, okay, city, so city icon. But actually what I want is to show that someone was born. And when I click on this icon, it shows me what other options it thought were relevant. And two of them are what I want the baby profile and the baby uh, straight up. So I want the baby profile so it crawls along the timeline. I think that's just cool. But again, it's up to you. All right, now I want to put in the date as well for all these points. And here we have this option to create another layer of information using headings. When I click on the H over here, I can now type in the date, 1946. That's when he was born. Okay, but I don't want this date to overpower the text that shows the event. So I'm going to make the date smaller, 75%. Um, now it's getting lost, so I want to bold it. And now it doesn't take too much space, but it's still visible. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to go through the timeline and make sure that all the icons reflect the event that um, is in the timeline as best as they can. So far, it looks great, but over here, do you see this jug of maple syrup? So what happened is uh, the event says that Trump divorced his wife, Marla Maples. So Adioma thinks that it's maple syrup. Well, we know that probably we want to show a divorce. So, and you see it also saw the, the word divorce. So when you click on the icon, it shows you a divorce icon as well. So I'm just gonna click that. All right, go back to the top. And here, there's a point where he punched a music teacher in second grade. And it shows a music teacher, um, a person with the music in his head, which is great, but we probably want to illustrate the hitting action. So I'm gonna search hit. And here, Adioma is showing me what it has for the word hit. I'm gonna choose this one. What if I search but don't find? I can just browse. I can browse the categories and uh, look for something that looks familiar. All right, now that we've done this, we want to change the title because it's not Einstein, it's Donald Trump. Okay, so the content is done. The information is there. Now we can head over to the design tab and color. Uh, this so all the colors are applied with one click. So I'm going to go for this preset color scheme. I like uh, I like it toned down because when you have a lot of text going on, you don't want to distract your readers with a lot of colors. And if I want to tweak it, I can over here. I can just click on one of these color bubbles, and the whole color picker will show up. So um, down below here are illustrations and I happen to have made a, an illustration of Donald Trump. I can just drag it from my desktop and drop it over here and it will be added. As you see, I've done that before too. 
Okay, when I click on the illustration, the idioma will crop it into a circle all by itself. So basically, you're ready to go. You don't have to adjust it any more than that. Now, if we wanted to change the font, I could. Let's go with Meriwether. It looks great and readable on mobile devices. Okay, so one more thing that I can change here is what if I wanted this timeline to just take less space because it's pretty long right now, as you see. Well, I could do that. I could relay out this whole thing with just one click. You see now it's wide and much shorter. But I'm also mindful of all the mobile readers. People who will read this on mobile probably will not be able to see more than three points in a row. So I'm going to keep it this way uh, so that they can read it. And download this as a PNG over here. This is enough as far as resolution for any use on the web. Let's open it to see what it looks like. So here we go. Within a couple of minutes, we've created a really long infographic, infographing the whole life of Donald Trump, 70 years. That's pretty impressive. Okay, and if I wanted to publish it right away, I could too. I just click this publish button and it goes to my public profile, which I can then share through this link with anyone. And that's it. That's how you create infographics in Adioma.